Now, before we move on, we just wanted to spend a few minutes catching up with two of the team who aren't able to be at work at the moment. Uh, Des and Bob are both self-isolating at home, but we can catch up with them now. Um, great to see you guys. I know you've caught up with Samina on the programme before, but it's the first chance I've had a chance to uh, talk to you. Um, Bob, let's start with you. You're looking well. How's it going? How are you keeping busy? Well, it's, uh, it's going reasonably well. I mean, I've been in lockdown now, Matt, for uh, getting on for seven weeks. And today was the very first time that I ventured out to do a click and collect from my local supermarket. And it was a, it was a strange experience because when you've been locked down for, for some time, you, you kind of lose touch with reality. Anyway, back I was on the road going to a supermarket and uh, noticing a lot of things, um, obviously quieter roads, uh, but also how people were being very careful on social distancing. And I'm very pleased to see that. And you also get uh, a, a new respect for those essential workers. Now, I'm not talking about uh, people right on the front line, like nurses and doctors. They're in a special category of their own. But I'm talking about people who work in the, in the supermarkets, the postman and the postwoman, people like that, who make life tolerable when you're in lockdown. In fact, Life would be impossible without them. So, uh, so I have a big respect for these people who are out there. Uh, Des, you've been in lockdown a little bit um, less time than Bob. Are you, have you settled into a routine? How are you finding it? Yeah, um, I have actually, Matt. I've settled into it fairly easily. Um, uh, enjoying the time uh, that I'm able just to calm my mind down and just potter around the house. And I've got to ditto everything that Bob says. I haven't really been outside of my house, but just listening to the noise of the traffic that you tend to hear, it really has quietened down. So it's great to see that everybody, or the vast majority of us, are observing the rules and, uh, and staying safe. And Bob, we have been emailing on the quiet over the last few weeks, me and you. I've been picking your brains on gardening advice. I'm not a gardener. I know you are. Um, can I still not plant anything out? Because this is my big frustration. A few pots on the patio. Is it still too soon in the season for that? Well, <laughs> uh, the one man who can tell us that is, uh, is, is Des, but uh, I'm not sure. I, it's still possible to get a frost, isn't it? And I, I know in my dim and distant past, I remember snow in June. So, you know, you can pick up a frost at this time of the year, but the weather has been so fantastic. You, it's very tempting to get all those bedding plants out, but I just wonder if it's still a bit too early. Go on then, Des, fill us in. Well, you know, speaking about really decent weather, you're right. Um, we've got to wait till Friday, the 1st of May, uh, but we've almost had the sunniest April on record. So it's been incredibly wonderful over the past couple of days. This week's a bit of a washout. You're going to get more details naturally uh, in your forecast proper. But um, I'm not really a green-fingered gardener. Are you, Matt? No, like I say, I'm a real novice, but Bob is helping me out. So maybe we'll post some photos as the season carries on. Um, guys, we have to move on, but absolutely brilliant to talk to you. Great to see you both looking so well. Take, Take care. care guys. Take care, guys.